I just want to record this moment that I had that I had just had with God because it just blessed me so much. I asked God um, why when I feel his presence um, that I feel like crying, you know, like, why do I always feel like crying when I feel his presence? Most of the time, maybe not all the time, but most of the time when I feel him in the midst of me, like on the outside of me and touching me, I know that we all have God in us, through us and around us. The Bible says that he is omnipresent. He is everywhere. There's no place we can be that God is not. Hallelujah. He is omnipresent. And so, um, I just wondered how come I would feel his presence sometimes and not feel his presence other times. And then when I feel the presence of God, I know it's God because I just feel this whimper inside of me. Like I just want to cry or whimper or moan or groan or something like that. You know what I'm saying? And there's so many different persons of God. He is a creator of all things and he is the creation of all things. And, you know, so God can come to us in so many different ways. And so just now I thought about that question again and the Holy Spirit just whispered to me just to let me know that the Holy Spirit is a part of God that visits me sometime. The Holy Spirit is, is, is a part of God's Trinity that visits me sometime and when it vis when the holy spirit visits me as the spirit of wisdom the bible talks about wisdom like lady wisdom right and then we hear this saying about how wisdom cries and the bible says that wisdom cries out loud in the streets in the what do they call it in the um courtyards and you know, and stuff like that is different uh, translations of it. And so God reminded me of that via Holy Spirit, Lady Wisdom. She said, remember, wisdom cries. And there was my answer that the reason why when I feel the presence of God, sometimes or most of the time, I feel like I want to cry or whimper or moan or groan and I feel sad and it's not a sadness um, that takes my joy away or takes my peace away. You know, it's hard to explain. <laughs> and so um, it feels separate from me, but a part of me at the same time. It's really hard to explain the presence of God. That's why we just go, I feel the presence of God until God decides to reveal um, the part of him that he chose to visit us. Hallelujah. Or he chose to be in the midst of us. You know, God can be present with us, but not in the midst of us. You know, and so when he wants to use us or he wants to rest upon us or he wants to move us, he likes to be in the midst of us. And sometimes he'll be in front of us or he'll be behind us or he'll be on our right side or he'll be on our left side or he'll be above us or he'll be below us wherever he needs to be in order to move us in a direction that he wants to move us in, in order to communicate to us in the way that he desires to communicate to us. Hallelujah. And so when God decides that he wants to communicate to us his wisdom, he will send Lady Wisdom. And basically, Lady Wisdom is always crying out, always crying out. And God helped me to realize or Lady Wisdom helped me to realize that the reason why she's always crying out is because she has never easily heard hallelujah she has so much wisdom and she knows and she's crying because she knows that that there's so much knowledge out there and the god says that he doesn't want his people to die from a lack of knowledge right and so what lady wisdom is revealing to me is that a lot of people are dying from a lack of knowledge because they have gained so much knowledge, 
but cannot and do not receive lady wisdom. And lady wisdom gives them the discernment on how to divinely and correctly uh, apply that knowledge to their life and the season that they are in and the many different diverse seasons that they will be in in the future. Lady Wisdom gives you discernment so that you can know what to do and how to carry the knowledge that you have so that that knowledge does not become like a thorn that rises up and chokes out your salvation. Hallelujah. And so, you know, there are a lot of people who are dying from a lack of knowledge because they have gained knowledge that has risen up as a thorn to choke out their belief that gives them salvation. They wrongfully interpret the knowledge that they have been given because they do not receive lady wisdom. Hallelujah. And she's crying out. And what lady wisdom helped me to understand is that, you know, men, men, God created men to have knowledge Hallelujah, because of their role that God has given them. And God has created women to carry lady wisdom. Hallelujah. And God is revealing to me that, you know, when a man does not listen to a woman, hallelujah, um, or does not have a woman in his life that uh, produces lady wisdom in their relationship, then you know, he, he continuously reaps a bad harvest, no matter how much knowledge that he has. Even if he's in a marriage with someone who is a woman, if she does not, you know, he to lady wisdom or carry lady wisdom or acknowledge lady wisdom that is inside herself, then she will not produce that in the marriage covenant they are in. And as a married couple, they cannot produce a good harvest. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. So, you know, Lady Wisdom was just wanting to reveal herself to me and reveal her purpose and reveal why she cries out, why she whimpers, why when she comes into the room, it doesn't matter if you are a woman or a man. Why, when she comes into the room, weeping enters into the room and you know it's the presence of God, but you don't realize it's Lady Wisdom until Lady Wisdom reveals herself as Lady Wisdom. And I've been crying out in the spirit for years without understanding why. And just now today, just now today, she decided to say, I am Lady Wisdom. And you know what? I could be an error because there are so many times she could have been saying Lady Wisdom or Wisdom Cries Out and it just didn't resonate with me the way it resonated today. So we don't know how many times God is going to have to speak to us or reveal his self to us before we receive and accept his presence and re receive and accept his revelations and his understanding and, 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 and his blessings. And, you know, and in order to receive and accept the blessings of God, we have to be transformed by the renewing of our mind or being transformed by the renewing of our mind. Hallelujah. We have to become uh, like new wine skin in order to receive the new wine blessing of God. Hallelujah. I mean, you can receive new wine blessings in your life in so many different ways, from naturally to spiritually, on earth as it is in heaven. There's so many ways to receive new wine blessings of God. And Lady Wisdom, I guess today is my divine appointment to hear her cry. She's been crying through me. She's been crying through other people connected to me. She's been crying out. Hallelujah. But today was my divine appointment to acknowledge Lady Wisdom as the voice that has been crying all these years through me and around me. Hallelujah.
And so I just wanted to record this. And if anyone in the process gets blessed by this video, I'm going to go ahead and upload it. And if anyone gets blessed by this uh, video, that will be wonderful. Um, I'm just going to plant this seed out into the universe, you know, and um, everyone has their own divine appointment. So if, you, so if you come across this video and you don't get it yet, don't worry. The, seeds, the seed has been planted and you will get it at your divine appointment. Hallelujah. So be blessed. If you have come to this video today or tomorrow or 10 years from now, pick these pearls up and rock them. Don't find fault with this word. Do not trample these pearls, beloved. Only pigs trample pearls. Pick them up and rock them. This is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. We shall delight ourselves in God and he will give us the desires of our hearts. In Jesus name, as long as our hearts are not amiss and our hearts can't be amiss if we are delighting ourselves in God, right? So that's the perfect time or the perfect divine appointment in order for us to receive the, our heart's desire because this is what God uh, wants to do. He wants to give us our heart's desire. It is God's will that he gives us our heart's desire, but our hearts cannot be amiss. We have to uh, delight ourselves in God in order for that to happen. And if you find that you cannot delight yourself in God today, don't worry. God said, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find not. And the doors to the kingdom of God shall be open. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, in you, through you, and around you as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name, we touch and agree. Amen. Don't forget to subscribe if you came across my YouTube channel. Share this video if you think someone else is going to be blessed by this message, <laughs> my testimony, my divine appointment. Hallelujah. And um, comment if you think that you have something to say that is going to prophesy to the body of Christ, me for one. If no one else comes here and sees your message, if I see your message, trust and believe. If you plant good seeds, is going to bless me, honey. So plant those seeds and share, like, comment, subscribe, and have a blessed day. Till next time. Later.